Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on estimating the result of a division. Now when we do any estimation question, we need to round each of the numbers involved in that estimate to one significant figure. So for A, if we round 800 to one significant figure, remember we only keep the first digit. So we keep the 8 and then all the other digits are just going to be replaced with 0 and that ensures that the 8 remains as the hundreds digit. So that's 810 to one significant figure. If you've forgotten how to round to significant figures, then I recommend you watch that video first. Then we've got a subtraction. Now 198.4, if we round that to one significant figure, that is 200. Remember, we check the first digit because we want one significant figure. We look at the digit just after it. If that's five or larger, then this digit here goes up by one, which it did up to two. And then we're dividing by 0.13. If we round that to one significant figure, we look at the first non-zero digit, which is this one here, discard the rest after it. So it's 0.1. And this one doesn't go up to two because that digit after it, it's not five or greater. Now let's simplify this. 800 minus 200 is 600 divided by 0.1. Now there's two ways to divide by 0.1. We could think of this as dividing by a tenth because 0.1 is a tenth. Now when we divide by a tenth, that's the same as timesing by 10. And 600 times 10 is 6,000. Be careful, 600 divided by 0.1 is not the same as 600 divided by 10, because a lot of students would put 60. Now what about the second question? Again, we round each of these numbers to one significant figure. And by the way, this symbol here means approximately equal to. So you can use that symbol if you want. So that to one significant figure is 400. This to one significant figure is just 10, because again, we just look at the first digit. Then is that digit after at least five? No, it isn't, so that stays as one, but we need to replace this one here with a zero because otherwise that one is no longer the tens digit. Then this to one significant figure, we look at the first non-zero digit. We check the digit after, is it five or greater? Yes, it is, so that goes up to five, and we discard after it, so it's 0.5. Let's simplify this. 400 times 10 is 4,000. We're dividing by five. That's the same as saying how many halves go into 4,000. Well, half goes into whole twice, so therefore it must go in 8,000 times. And again, remember that when you divide by a half, that's the same as timesing by two. If you were to divide by a third, that's the same as timesing by three. If you were to divide by a quarter, that's the same as timesing by four.